welcome to another episode of Uber Monster Plays. We are continuing Paranoiac. Um, when we last left off, we were over here. Apparently we did something. Oh, I muted my computer. Apparently, we have to find hiding spots in order to survive. Oh, something in this book. A note? They're trying to trap me. They hate me. If I can't protect, my, protect it myself, the password is Seiki. I'm sure I won't forget my own name. Alright, now that we have that, we can just... That was new, by the way. That's it, that's it. Oh, okay, here it comes. Can I just skip this or something, or do I have to wait till I freaking see him? I hate how she doesn't move. Ah, face. What? Is that thing coming toward me? Yes, now get in the room! This is like Mad Father all over again. Breathe hard. He'll find you. <laughs> not, not here somewhere else. Oh god. No, please leave me alone. I'm sorry. This is a very stressful game. I hate you! Oh no! Oh, dead. It's probably a bad idea. Yeah, he can't get to me though. My ah, god dang it! Okay. Maybe this is it. Maybe this is my side. Maybe I won't die. Or found. Shh. Shut up. Oh god. I'm so dead. No, please. Sleep. That thing's gone. That's <laughs> a big breakfast. Seriously, what was that last night? A dream? But it felt too real. And I did wake up in the dresser. At least the thing's gone, I guess. It must have been a stray dog or something. That was totally a stray dog. Let me sort this blade out. Ugh. Ah, 
I did find that key yesterday. I should find out what it opens. It look, it look like a stray dog, all right. Now while we're doing that, let's figure out what the heck, where the heck we can hide. in here at all. We could probably hide in these cabinets right here. Lots of hide spots in the kitchen apparently. Alright, figure out where that door opens. Oh, this already opened. This key, if it's here. Oh, that's not creepy. Okay, uh, pff, mm mm. No place to hide, though. It's empty. It's old, but a nice color. I might wear this later. Pink, kind of gaudy, not my preference. Pretty blue. A large dresser. Hmm? And a drawer. A note? All beautiful things are fake. Beauty is there to hide something. Large treasure, there's no in the drawer. Okay, that's the same note she gave me earlier. Not brand clothes. I'm getting bony, I need to eat more. You just had a huge ass breakfast. A brand necklace, who cares, not me. Expired face lotion, shouldn't use these. This is Hayao How's your condition? No real progress, but it's not getting worse either. I see, I see. S ah, so you moved, did you not? It's been in the. I've been in the air before. It's a very nice, quiet place. It should be a good place to relax. <laughs> ah, what a lie. By the way, I talked with the editor. Oh, shoot. I totally. I don't know what just happened. Please do. Bye then. Sure sounds at ease. Wish I could be too, but I'm writing romance novels I don't want to write. Oh, it opened. A key? Was this in the safe? Oh, I was just in the safe. Alright, let's go find out where this goes then. Maybe in here. Nope. Where'd it go to? Oh, it seems the key is for here. Plenty of love stories and dramas, lots of CDs and DVDs. Computer my aunt apparently used. It was locked with a password, which is. Oh, the password must be wrong. Damn it. Okay, maybe there's a note in here. Oh, maybe there's no note in here. Come on. Hey guys, I finally figured out how the hell to do this. It's pretty flowers. Huh? These are... Actually, these are artificial. Blah, 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 dug them out. There's a cat here. 
She got you the cat's butt. Oh, she's a good catty cat. A key. Empty. Why did you bury this here? Alright, let's go. Figure out where this key is. I bet it goes down here. Five bucks has it. Or, oh. Pff. Dumb me. Wait, I didn't open this door down here, did I? This key is for this room. God, it's gonna be scary in there. Boxes. Locker. Brooms and dustpans. Some small tools. Stock of detergent and cleaning supplies. Boxes. Shavers and such. Why are these here? A key. For what room? Old living supplies. chest what the hell a large shoe the cutie oh, excuse me is this miss miss Mimi blib house uh yes who are you I'm Shinji Mura from across the street it seems like they missed double your luggage to me Mr. Leverd and my stuff maybe I need to sit up so I can read this right no oh, sorry to trouble you well, I already stamped for it. The delivery person didn't even seem to notice. <laughs> Stupid delivery people. This luggage is rather heavy. If you let me in, I'll carry it for you. <laughs> Look at you. No, uh, no, you shouldn't. I can carry it myself. Please don't worry about me. I'm used to physical labor. Well, alright. Oh, there's a romance going on between these two. Help you with a romance novel. There we go. I can just put it in here, yes? Yes, thank you very much. Uh, I wish I could thank you. How about some tea? You do that for me? <laughs> I don't know why it's so awkward. Very well, then. I just don't feel like this is what real people would talk about. <laughs> So you're a writer, Miss Takamura. That's amazing. I'm not that great. I'd like to write real literature, but I have no talent. I can only write these stupid romance novels. Now, nah, don't say that. I can respect anyone who makes a living from writing. So what are you doing here? It's for a lot of reasons, but mainly for recuperation. Recuperation? You mean from an illness? Yes, but it's not a serious one. I knew the house's previous owner, and it's empty, so I'm living here. Are you referring to Miss Seiki? You knew her? Yeah, she was mad. She's passed away now. I can't talk. My mouth is so dry. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. But you're Miss Seiki's niece? You don't look much like her. Really? My relatives always said I did. Ah, uh, well, Miss Seiki was rather odd, you see. How odd was she? Don't get the wrong idea, but she would scream oddly and wander at night. She was quite well known here. <coughs> I see. She was mentally ill. I'm sorry on her behalf. No, no. I'm sorry for bringing it up. You better be sorry, you jerk. I should be going. Thank you for the tea. No, don't. Please. I'm on leave for an injured arm, so I have time on my hands, in a way. Call me if you need anything. Give me your number! It may be hard for a young woman to live alone in these parts. <sighs> but I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, you're right. I'm not used to it. I might ask you if I need any help. Thanks for your concern. Give me your number! So I can call you when creepy zombie dude comes in. 
Let's name him Fred. He seems friendly. I'll sort that luggage out now. Alright, let's do it. Oh no, it's night. Oh no. Uh, I don't think my heart could take another one. Ugh. Who is it at this hour? Ah, it's Miss Hat, Mr. Hay Hayakawa, isn't it? Ah, I didn't read that last part. I'm sorry. Day two. Shit. <laughs> oh, let's save. I'm gonna end it here because holy crap, that is scary. Alright, I will see you guys later. Bye bye!